Hey guys, welcome back to another episode by Stoby. As you can see, we are not in our Main lovely world. normal survival world. We're we in are testing in world. the testing world, which you may re um, which you may remember from my um, compact machinery tutorial and what's the other tutorial I did? The oh book. yeah, this one, the enchanted yeah, books one. The enchanted books one. ones. When you check those you'll, out, you'll, you'll recognize there'll be it. one at the top, and I might put it in the end screen as well for you guys. No. I might, depends on if I remember. As you can see, there are multiple iterations of the same thing over and over and over again. And we're going to I mean, run they, you through they them. don't look like they're multiple iterations, they're really different. Yeah, so what this but, is um, for is our shop. Basically, what we've designed is we've designed the request system, yep. but, um, yeah, we just want to take you through how many f how we attempts did it. this took us. So the first thing we did is we tried to use a comparator to compare a signal from something with hose in, and then as this fills up, um, eventually the signal will go through, it will go through and break. Basically, what was going to happen here is this is going to have a certain amount of items in, and then when you remove one hoe from this, it would mean that there's enough power here that equalizes this, which means that this travels, pushes this piston down, which then picks up the shulker box with the items in and delivers it to Toby. Or you, but yeah, um, it's designed for me, really. This was terrible, and frankly would um, have taken yon yonkies to work. And it's huge as well, and also we couldn't balance this very well because it's stupid. So we moved on to this, it's very similar. It's basically the same system, but oh. with a fancier end. But the hopper locked here, which is actually very important in the later design, so that it meant that the item stayed in the hopper longer, meaning the pulse was a bit longer. That will come in useful later. Now we changed um, from a shulker box because the shulker oh. box was being annoying because you couldn't fill it to this one, number three. Um, this one is just your classic dropper. If you haven't seen this before, basically what it's used for is it's used in like automatic armoring systems where you just stand it there and it has a pressure plate which sets off all these droppers and it just like delivers all your like Gear equipment and, and armor. But and we thought, well, if we just power it, and use this design, we could make it so that it would dispense all the items into the bottom. And this then if we put it on this pulse, which we've got here, this is slightly deconstructed, we could make it so it dispensed like a stack of items and then deliver that stack of items to whoever's requesting it. This is just a basic vanilla slab tower. It means that redstone can travel upwards in a very compact way. Mm -hmm. It's a bit, it's a bit, you know, shouldn't Ugly. really work, but... It does. What it, is. it does. Also, um, weird phenomena. If you watch the torches. Watch the torches. So this These thing here produces an exact way. six tick pulse. Eight. But if I activate this one, it triggers this one for some reason. And, and not, I have no idea why they trigger it. They're just not each connected. Other. But anyway, moving on. So that's just for redstoners. Can you please explain this? It's weird. Moving on, we've got this design, which still used these, which was weird. Mm -hmm. But instead of powering them using a slab tower, we tried to do it like this, we could get a Basically, lot more Basically this was in. meant so that instead of using the pulse, we could just use a single tick. And because the problem with this was all the pulses were adding together into just one mega pulse, and it was only doing one. Yeah, it just wasn't really working. So this one, we tried to make it so it wouldn't need the pulse by using extra droppers. Um, it's huge. It, it's huge, and the redstone couldn't travel all the way around. I could make it do with like some repeaters, look, watch. You could just have like the repeater there, and it would continue powering. But yeah, but that's kind just of weird. And look, yeah. look how weird that looks. It's, <laughs> it's just odd. Don't like so it. next one, um, took the tower from that one and plonked it there, and then used the tower thing. This one works, actually, but it's huge. But it's humongous. So and we don't didn't really like it. But this has all it the also essential still components. relied on this weird torch thing here. Which is buggy, so we didn't really like it. So we've moved on to this design. It looks massive. There's actually two in here, but uh, we'll just two. look at this one because this if one. If I actually go above, you can see where one it stops and the other one begins. We'll look at this. It's actually not quite finished. We we've been kind of struggling, but I think we'll have it figured out. So what happens is the paper goes in the top. It gets stopped by this torch. The piece of paper is the request input. The torch locks this hopper so it can't get through, so the pulse is picked up, goes through here, opens up the hopper below so it gets sucked out, 
but also the pulse travels down here to his sticky piston, pushes out a block, and then the two observ the observer clock, instead of the torches, send out a variety of pulses for a set amount of time, firing, 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 all these droppers fire out the material as they all go down. Which looks to here. Which looks absolutely incredible when all these fire. But you can see that we're lo using a lever and that's because this um, doesn't quite work it yet. It doesn't quite work yet. I think this pulse extender might be in the wrong place and also I think I need to change this up, maybe. I'm not sure. We will see when we build it in the survival world. But um, um, yeah, we'll th fix the this is basically and build just it. an observer tower. So yeah, observe this is how the these are works. really useful. You guys will love mm -hmm. these. If you've never seen them before, so an observer will pick up a signal from something, even like a Basically, leaf. what happens the observer picks up when this redstone goes from unpowered to powered. So when yeah. this powers, the observer picks it up, and then when this observer activates, this observer picks it up, and so on all the way up the column. And then at the same time, these observers are seeing each one of these fire, so going into these droppers. And then these all fire these droppers. Which means that if I power this redstone, it powers that, which goes all the way up, sends up the signal. Redstone and they all fire, and it looks amazing. And then we all pick up the Stupid. stuff that's in there. But, uh, yeah. That's, Yoink. that's what we're going to be building in the in the time-lapse next. So, um... We shall now go into the time-lapse, and... That's it. That's it. I was about this was really fun yep so we built one of these might do another one between episodes you know we're going to quick slow down so, so we built, built this um now design changes differences did you make i built the pulse extender correctly so as this bar comes down to do this and um uh, to right, power the piston the system. so this thing will have the piece of paper it goes in here it fires this off which Produces Which a goes two down. tick pulse. I don't know what, where does this piece of redstone go? That piece of redstone. Oh, it switches off that, which allows the piece of paper to go down again. So and the comparator has enough time to and read then it. Goes down here, and then this circuit goes down, goes into the pulse extender, which then active triggers um, the the observer clock to fire for a while. through here, and then that fires off all these droppers. Actually, do you have any redstone on you? No. Uh, no, I don't. No, oh well. Might have been able to set it off, but oh well. Actually, no, I can set it off. Look. So. so lever. No, I've got block. Right. You hear that? That's How cool. That looks. It, looks, it sounds insanely annoying though. But you see what happens there. This fires. Now this repeater is a hilarious story, because originally we just had the redstone line running. Have enough power is fine. This observer would see this go up, this would read, this would fire, but it would the redstone would repower again because of the observer clock, and it would fire the observer again. But it would also get powered again, and the observers would somehow see this and it would it turned into this loop of it just firing over and over and over again. And um it was uh, it took me ages to figure out and it was because this redstone was repowering this dropper again. But yeah, put a repeater in and that solved the issue. Was there anything else Am I different about just this? Just flew from the bottom of this room to the top. Yeah. That's insane. I have multi-jump. I can jump really high. Oh, and it makes that really stupid noise. Do you even need jump boost? 
Um, no, but I'd like speed. But uh, anyway, um, that's for ne moving that's on. for next week's episode talking about that sort of thing. Right, moving on. So, are we gonna skedaddle? Yep, yeah, we'll skedaddle out of here. And um, I'll show you what I'm doing with the um, base. Actually, we'll talk about what we're doing while we're waiting for them to skedaddle out of here. Um, next week we're gonna upgrade. Upgrades, everything. people. Upgrades. So we're gonna have better picks, better axes. Hopefully, get us better tools because this sword is weird. Um, armor. We might do. It depends on how much time we get. Actually, no. I think we will um, do it because supremium armor. We're gonna get supremium tools. We're gonna get. Hopefully, we're gonna get supremium everything because it's supremium armor. It's invincible. Gives you creative flight. I don't think it actually. Um, no, it's not invincible. It's got durability. Oh, uh, so but the armor, but the tools are invincible. The tools are invincible, the which is the main are thing. In but we can just put mending light. and unbreaking on the armor, and then it'll basically be invincible. And so yeah, hopefully. So you can see that there are um, lanterns here on the fences, which I did. I also put down some ghostwood leaves. Foliage is beautiful. That's what I've done. It just kind of breaks up the monotony of the purple, um, and it mm -hmm. and it works because it's like cartoon white. You know what I mean? It's kind of nice. Now one thing with this is I think oak doesn't look very nice. Normally in vanilla, oak is of absolutely beautiful wood, like look over there, it's absolutely lovely. But against the purple, I don't know why, it just looks dark. Because um, these are like glowing, I swear these look glow. Uh, no, no they so don't, shrooms they are don't glow. glow in Minecraft, but I think they're neon. Yeah, like they're, neon. they're really weird, but... And the purple as well, it's so bright, the, this mm. looks kind of grey, so... But we'll be able to use oak on the... Um, so instead, I'm tempted to do this. Obviously, I'm not going to use walls because they're a bit thick and weird. Because it looks oh. terrible. Oh no, apparently, when you just update the world. <laughs> odd. That's so odd. Yeah, I'm going to put the lanterns okay. on here. Although, it's quite grey and black, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I might not. It, I, might it, not. Uh, we'll uh, see. I might even use birch. It just depends. So I just don't like the oak. Oh, they float. Since oh. when was that a thing? Okay. Since now. I didn't realise um, I floated. Um, why do I have your head in my inventory? That's a bit odd. Because I um, gave it to you. No, remember you stole it. Oh, yeah. Funny story. Um, yeah. We killed each other about 200 times. Because I upgraded my sword. You got and it. And I wanted to test it out. So it's Oz... It's Osgood Glass. Osgood Glass. It's that. It's that. I don't think they can see that because it's a bit small. Um, it's got Night no, Slime, Osgood Glass and Cobalt. And it has quite high durability, good draw speed. It does a good it's 12 actually, or so damage. It does 12 damage, but that's because it's got sharp, sharp one. And all, it does 10 Got default. a sweep! It does 10 default, but it's actually not a bad sword. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, but anyway, but it's probably going to be replaced next episode. So I think, I think, yeah, Supreme Moon Swords are pretty damn good. But uh, I think that's um, everything for today. Day. So if I just make my way up to Sam. There's a scythe? Yeah. That's so I don't know what it's used for. Actually, I don't think we'll make pickaxes. I think we're going to make the um, paxels, which are literally just an, a pickaxe, a shovel, and an axe. So basically, all mixed um, together. We're going to upgrade our, as much equipment as possible. I'm not going to make any promises on any of these equipment upgrades taking They're place. They're very expensive. This stuff is very expensive. But we'll see, we'll see. We so, will um, see. Okay. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you loved this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be in. I am really Great. bad at the whole parkour. Gone. Right, come, come here. here. If you love this. <sighs> God. Let's just try, try that, that again. again. Thank you guys for watching. If you loved this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of my next video. Adios.